Well, November is National Diabetes Month, and some people inherit a genetic predisposition from their family, but it could also be dietary or lifestyle habits that raise your risk of developing diabetes. And joining me this morning is Anna Anderson, Director of Nutrition Services at Near North Health. Thank you so much for coming on the show and talking about this important topic, Anna. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Let's get to this part. Uh, I found this very interesting when you talk about the signs and dangers of diabetes. Uh, it actually can impact 11.3% it does of the U.S. population, yet one in five people don't even know that they have it. So let's start right there. What are the warning signs? So the warning signs can kind of uh, depend on the person, but some basic symptoms of diabetes are frequent urination, excessive thirst, and then some unintended weight loss. So if you're not actively trying to lose weight and just seeing the pound shed off, that is probably a time to go see your doctor. Also, numbness in the hands and feet is also a really big sign and extreme fatigue. Let's talk about this part, Anna. You know, obviously, when I started this out, I talked about the genetic factor for some people. Other people, it may be that your diet can make you more at risk. Uh, who's more at risk overall for diabetes? Um, so it kind of depends, but really uh, Latinx and African-American are at a higher um, disposition to developing uh, type 2 diabetes. And is there anything that can be done to prevent diabetes in the first place? Oh, absolutely. Um, obviously, lifestyle changes. So getting active and trying to get at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise daily, uh, eating a healthy diet. Um, so that's just plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, that good thing, all those good things, maintaining a healthy weight. And then also, if you are very nervous, um, there are uh, classes, uh, diabetes prevention programs, uh, one of which uh, is hosted by Near North. <laughs> That was going to be my follow-up question to you, actually. Uh, obviously, Near North Health is uh, rolling out some of that uh, program, prevention programs to bring awareness. What are you doing for uh, this month, considering that it's National Diabetes Month? Yeah, so we definitely wanted to host a informational session. So if you or someone you know is pre-diabetic or at risk, because um, diabetes runs in your family, on the 29th, so on Wednesday, we'll be hosting a virtual uh, informational session and that'll be at 3 p.m. and it'll just kind of give you a rundown of what the diabetes prevention program looks like um, and it'll be hosted by Near North and it is virtual. All right Anna uh, any last words for anyone watching right now that maybe they're not sure uh, you talked about those warning signs maybe they're not sure if they have diabetes but they want to be checked out is there a process they can go through to be checked out to see if in fact they even have diabetes? Absolutely. Um, if they are worried, uh, my biggest recommendation is going to talk to their uh, primary care. And then uh, it is a very simple blood test or um, and then they can get tested and they'll find out either way. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming on the newscast this morning. We do want to remind people of that informational session. Uh, you see it right there on your screen. It's taking place Wednesday. That is November 29th at three in the afternoon. You can learn more by going to the website that's near North Health. Dot org. Anna Anderson, it was a pleasure having you on this morning. Thank you. Thank, thank you.